All right, everyone, I am very excited with what I got today because it is very exclusive. As you can see, my pop vinyls are missing from up there. Those are all my Jurassic Park themed ones. This is because you can probably guess, you can probably see through this box. I have a Jurassic World Dominion pop vinyl. That's right. They are meant to be uh, not out yet, uh, not until May 13th, but there was one that was in stock online. So I rushed over to the store and there it was. So let us review this shall we here we go here is the box and let's bring it out so we have a Trociraptor ghost pop vinyl i am let's turn off the flash extremely excited with this one actually maybe flash is good but um yeah i really want to unbox it right now uh i normally will take out my pop my pop vinyls out of the box and then put them back in and we'll do that today. We'll show it out of the box, obviously, because that's going to be very cool. But um, what I like about this is uh, it's not brown. I have two other ghost figures back up here. I put them there uh, pre the recording just so I could compare. Don't worry about this. This is just textile on my fingers. It's not blood or anything. But um, yeah, it's very gold compared to the other Atrociraptor stripes, which is very interesting. So... I don't think it's like, a, it's not a special edition, because you can see I've got special edition ones. Here's our Chase limited edition Dilophosaurus. So that's it. Yeah, I bought that off eBay, actually. <laughs> I didn't luckily get it. I did luckily get one Chase that I found in stores. That was a really good day. But uh, we've got the special edition Mr. DNA we ordered online. I didn't actually review that. I should have when I got it, but I guess I can look at it today. And then this. We will get it out of the box very soon, but... Here is what is on the back of the box. There are two gigas, which is interesting. I don't know if they were there before, but yeah. So the thing was there were two Atrociraptor Ghost Pop Finals on the website, but one was um, a pre-order one for May 13th. But this one was available now. So yeah, I just decided I'd run over there after I... I did click and collect because same with uh, Lego Giga Notosaurus set. You could only buy that online, so I was like, I don't want to get to the store, and they don't have it on the shelves, and they didn't, so it was lucky I bought it through Click and Collect, and they had it ready within the 15 minutes that I got there. So thank you very much to EB Games. This is very awesome, and I'm going to have a fun time unboxing, which will happen very shortly, in a couple of seconds, actually. All right, so we have taken everyone else out of their boxes. Now it is time for ghost to come out of the packaging it's going to be my first look of it out of the packaging and your first looks out as well so oh this is all sealed in tight but ghost kind of just falls out so already pre-attached to the sand which i really like because my blue and stygy mollick when i put them in right it snapped the connector bit so I can no longer stand them up properly. I have to stand them on those guys. Because if I get them now, they'll just fall over. I don't have a proper stand for them. But thankfully, you don't really have to connect it with this Atrocity Raptor. So I'm kind of thankful for that. It's just more of a collector's item to stand in place. Oh, I quite like it from this angle. I haven't seen it from this angle yet. It looks like it's about ready to get into a fight with someone. Maybe blue. And... This is actually really good because besides the Mattel toys, we do actually now have, uh, can do Blue versus Ghost Atrociraptor, not confirmed if this is happening in the movie, but it would be cool to see the raptors face off. So, there is that. Oh, there goes my limited edition $50 Dilophosaurus. I love that one so much. And here's Mr. Dino. I don't think I really showed him. But yeah, here he is. He's got a stand very similar to the Ghost Atrociraptor. So I think this is the new way, the new route they're kind of going with these stands. Just have them connected. May I doubt for all of them, because you might want to unconnect some, just have normally. But this was the Ghost I got connected to the stand. And I know there was like a second one on the website, which was very weird, but hey... I reckon this is just so awesome. And if you wanted a look of the Lego one and the Minis Mattel one compared to it, here you go. 
there is Ghost. I also have a video upcoming of a ghost toy that has not yet been revealed. I don't want to say which uh, variety yet. It is out there on YouTube if you want to go search up. But yeah, there is another ghost toy that hasn't been revealed publicly. So I might make a video on that because I've seen other people make videos. Um, yeah, this, the difference is uh, it's very grey compared to this white one. And then the Lego one, I think, would be the most accurate one. Purely because of this ghost, as you, as I probably said in the video before, has just gold stripes, which is kind of weird, um, considering these are brown stripes. So these, obviously. And, yeah, I just wonder why it was gold. Maybe it was because it was the second... Um, Ghost Atros wrapped on that website, and the original one has brown, but I really doubt it because it doesn't have limited edition packaging. Either way, I really don't mind though because I do love the standout of this gold color. Maybe there's just not any proper. Oh no, Stygy has some brown colors. Um, could have been used, or like the T Rex and Velociraptor and stuff in the back. But yeah, you can see in the mouth it got it painted, which is very good by Pop Vinyl. Um. It's lighter on the outside of the fleshy bits and the tongue. But then up in the back, you might need a flash for it. Here we go. Yeah, it's much more black up the back. And then we've got that not really brown, but more goldish fade into the white along with the red eye. So this is like, so far, I guess you could say the closest you could get to an Indominus Rex pop vinyl of this Atrociraptor, because it's kind of what it is, but I'd say the Ghost Atrociraptor is more based off the Jurassic Park 3 uh, female Velociraptor. So it would be really cool if there was an Atrociraptor based off one of the Jurassic Park 3 male raptors. I reckon people would love the Atrociraptors way more, because I know the Atrociraptors aren't getting too much love as they could I know they're like the least favorite of the newest creatures in the movie. And I guess that's just because they do look very similar to Velociraptors. They don't look entirely new, but most other creatures do look new. But, I mean, I love collecting the toys of them either way. Yeah, that's um, it for Ghost. Here's the underside. I don't know if there's any information you want to read. Uh, there's its code number, I guess. But yeah... I don't know if it's EB Games Australia that only has this, or but I'd say get on top of it right now if you can go check your EB Games slash, uh, is it Pop Culture Zing, I think it is, uh, whatever the bag says. Uh, go on that website right now and check if you can order your very own. When I was looking for the Lego Dominion toys, and I thought that they only show three Lego sets on their website, but I asked, oh. It's not in stock, but do you have this? And they're like, yeah. So we they pulled it out, and I went home with almost all the Lego sets that day. So I was very happy with that. But um, that's why it's always worth the ask to ask if they have the other toys, which are or pop vinyl collectibles. They're on the back of here, but they didn't unfortunately. But I'm happy enough just to get one exclusive creature. Like, come on, no one on that. I've I've looked it up. I don't think anyone on YouTube or the internet has a Jurassic World Dominion pop final yet, so am I the first? Oh, I love being the first to everything. <laughs> I've done it a lot with the Lego, with the pop finals, um, a lot of images. You want information, come to Pro C because I've got it. But <laughs> once again, I'm just so happy with this. We can, uh, Indoraptor is probably the best look at it with, not blue, because blue's standing up, blue's not really hunched over. And blue's once again taller, like the Lego, but not by much. It's just because it's hunched over. But, oh, this is cool. Indoraptor versus Atrociraptor. Oh, oh, I do like, oh. I know everyone likes Malcolm, but move out the way just for now. Yes, this is absolutely amazing. I don't know if I want to make this a thumbnail, actually. But this close, obviously. But, um... Wow, wow, wow. Thank you all very much for watching, you know, and I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone.